Welcome to the Gospel with the Church Fathers. Thank you for watching. Happy Thanksgiving to our American listeners. As we mentioned, this Sunday begins the season of Advent, and our patrons will have access to an enhanced Sunday version of the Gospel with the Church Fathers. See the description for this video for more information and a link to our Patreon page. Thank you. Today is the Thursday of the 34th week in Ordinary Time. Please leave a comment, send us a tweet, at Church Rebuild, or visit our website at catholicinitiative.com. Thank you. Today's Gospel is taken from St. Luke, chapter 21, verses 20 through 28, and the commentaries are from Eusebius, St. John Chrysostom, St. Ambrose, St. Bede, St. Theophylactus, and St. Gregory the Great. The Gospel Jesus said to his disciples, When you see Jerusalem surrounded by armies, know that its desolation is at hand. Then those in Judea must flee to the mountains. Let those within the city escape from it, and let those in the countryside not enter the city. For these days are the time of punishment, when all the scriptures are fulfilled." Woe to the pregnant women and nursing mothers in those days, for a terrible calamity will come upon the earth, and a wrathful judgment upon this people. They will fall by the edge of the sword and be taken as captives to all the Gentiles, and Jerusalem will be trampled underfoot by the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles are fulfilled. There will be signs in the sun, the moon, and the stars, and on earth nations will be in dismay, perplexed by the roaring of the sea and the waves. People will die of fright in anticipation of what is coming upon the world, for the powers of the heavens will be shaken. And then they will see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. But when these signs begin to happen, stand erect and raise your heads, because your redemption is at hand. The Commentaries Eusebius By the desolation of Jerusalem, he means that it was never again to be set up, or its legal rights to be re-established, so that no one should expect, after the coming siege and desolation, any restoration to take place, as there was in the time of the Persian king Antiochus the Great and Pompey. For so in truth it was that when the Romans came and were taking the city, many multitudes of the Jewish people perished in the mouth of the sword, as it follows, and they shall fall by the edge of the sword. But still more were cut off by famine. And these things happened at first indeed under Titus and Vespasian, but after them in the time of Hadrian the Roman general, when the land of their birth was forbidden to the Jews. St. Bede The events which were to follow the fulfillment of the times of the Gentiles, he explains in regular order, saying, There shall be signs in the sun, and in the moon, and in the stars. St. John Chrysostom For as in this world the moon and the stars are soon dimmed by the rising of the sun, so at the glorious appearance of Christ shall the sun become dark, and the moon not shed her ray, and the stars shall fall from heaven, stripped of their former attire, that they may put on the robe of a better light. Eusebius When also the Son of God shall come in glory, and shall crush the proud empire of the Son of Sin, the angels of heaven attending him, the doors of heaven which have been shut from the foundation of the world shall be opened, that the things that are on high may be witnessed. St. Ambrose So severe, then, will be the manifold fires of our souls, that with the consciences depraved through the multitude of crimes, by reason of our fear of the coming judgment, the dew of the sacred fountain will be dried upon us. But as the Lord's coming is looked for, in order that his presence may dwell in the whole circle of mankind or the world, 
which now dwells in each individual who has embraced Christ with his whole heart, so the powers of heaven shall at our Lord's coming obtain an increase of grace, and shall be moved by the fullness of the divine nature more closely infusing itself. There are also heavenly powers which proclaim the glory of God, which shall be stirred by a fuller infusion of Christ, that they may see Christ. St. Theophylactus It follows, And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds. Both the believers and unbelievers shall see him, for he himself as well as his cross shall glisten brighter than the sun, and so shall be observed of all. St. Gregory the Great Having in what has gone before spoken against the reprobate, he now turns his words to the consolation of the elect. For it is added, When these things begin to be, look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draws nigh. As if he says, When the buffetings of the world multiply, lift up your heads. That is, rejoice in your hearts. For when the world closes whose friends you are not, the redemption is near which you seek. For in Holy Scripture, the head is often put for the mind. For as the members are ruled by the head, so are the thoughts regulated by the mind. To lift up our heads, then, is to raise up our minds to the joys of the heavenly country.